let's discuss on the structures of interhalogen compounds type ax as indicated type ax are linear thus chlorine monofluoride bromine monofluoride bromine monochloride and iodine monobromide and iodine monoiodide are all in linear in structure you are able to see the structure of bromine and chlorine here the electronic structure of chlorine atom in the ground state and hybridized state is depicted here so these are all the ground states and these are all hybrid states the spatial arrangement of the four electron pairs the bond pair is equal to 1 and the lone pair is equal to 3 round the central chlorine atom is called as 1 2 3 4 tetrahedral you are able to see here so the presence of three lone pairs of electrons and three hybrid orbitals the shape of ax molecule gets distorted and become linear so this shape is tetrahedral and this is not linear This is the tetrahedral shape. So for type AX3, the chlorine trifluoride molecule ClF3 is a typical example. Type AX3 compounds of the type AX3 have trigonal bipyramidal structure. Here is the chlorine trifluoride molecule. Type AX3 chlorine fluoride, trifluoride. You are able to see the typical example is chlorine trifluoride. This is how the combination is. Three unpaired electrons are permit three covalent bonds and formation of chlorine fluoride molecule by sp3d hybridization. Type AX5 iodine pentafluoride. So these are the typical examples. These compounds are formed by sp3d2 hybridization and hence have an octahedral structure. So here is the iodine atom in ground state. You are able to see the paired electrons are separated in the excited state. This is your sp3d2 hybridization. So everything is paired. Here is the structure of iodine pentafluoride. Now it's iodide heptafluoride. The compound is holding a pentagonal bipyramidal structure since this is formed by sp3d3 hybridization. Here is the structure. So the iodine atoms in excited state and sp3d3 hybridization state is here. Here is the structure of iodine heptafluoride. 